This week's installation town hall addressed the changes in hours at the MAPES 32 gate. More on that in a moment. Hello and welcome to Meet Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, meet the next garrison commander and some back to school news for young and old. These stories and more, but first, on the last two editions of Mead Week, we reported on the change in hours at the MAPES 32 gate. At this week's installation town hall, Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Michael Sapp and Command Sergeant Major Richard Moore spent more than 40 minutes addressing community concerns. The other is because of the DA civilian police requirements, it's not as easy as just grabbing someone and putting them on the gates. There is a train up that has to be done. There are other standards that have to be met if they're going to replace security guards. But as soon as I do that, I have to keep them from the units for a matter of six months to a year. I can't do it during the one to two months while they wait for processing to happen so they can just be pulled. So, uh, yeah, and then all of these reasons, the hiring process. So right now, uh, with our manpower challenges for government civilians across the board, this is not a DA security guard issue. This is not a Fort Meade issue, um, and it's really not even just a national capital region. The Colonel went into depth on issues of hiring, increasing pay, and using service members at the gates. You can watch the town hall in its entirety on our Facebook page. Just click on videos. Elsewhere, any future changes in gate hours will probably be made by the next garrison commander. Colonel Sapp will relinquish command to Colonel Yolanda Gore in a change of command ceremony August 6th at Club Meade. Recently, Colonel Gore stopped by the Public Affairs Office to record an episode of our podcast, Fort Meade Declassified. I was going to say, ma'am, if you could just tell us a little bit about yourself outside the military, who you are, you know, what you like, or some of your hobbies, some of the things that um, others can relate to when they see you and maybe... Sure, um, Monique, no problem. Um, not very interesting person, but I am dual military. I've been in the military for 21 years. My husband is a signal uh, officer. We have two kids, one 29 and one 19. Um, one is a graduate of East Carolina University and the other one is uh, Virginia Tech, so go Hokies. Learn more about our next garrison commander on the July 19th edition of Declassified. Meanwhile, it's mid-July and there's a lot of back-to-school news to start reporting on, but first, more than 46th grade students from Baltimore visited Fort Meade this week. The students are participants in Bridges, a four-week summer enrichment program for more than 350 students from Title I schools in Baltimore. We have a field trip every week and there are different themes, so our theme this week is um, about uh, career and, well, college and career readiness. So this is one of the stops that we have for, the, for our sixth grade students. It's coming to the base. We've always had an interest in doing something that was military related. Um, last year we went to the Naval Academy and this year we thought it may be a little better. Um, it would be better to switch it up, go somewhere different. The Bridges students spent a full day on post, first getting a briefing from Army recruiters. The second military working dog detachment put on a demonstration that included one of the Bridges instructors participating. They ended their day with a scavenger hunt at the National Cryptologic Museum. In more school news, MWR's Child and Youth Services and Club Meet are hosting a Back to School and Community Information Expo Thursday, August 1st from 4 to 7 p.m. I stress the Information Expo part because besides the schools, there will be information on housing, jobs, health and wellness, safety, and much more. The Expo will also have entertainment and food trucks on hand. For more information, go to b.armymwr.com or call 301-677-1227. In a related story, Anne Arundel County Public Schools recently released a new app. Hey there, ACPS fam. Did you know that ACPS just launched a new app? Whether you're a student, parent, teacher, or staff member, this app is about to change the way we all communicate here at ACPS. Introducing the brand new app for Anne Arundel County Public Schools. It's everything AACPS, all for you, right at your fingertips. So, what are you waiting for? Download the AACPS app to belong, grow, and succeed on the go. I mentioned earlier that I had some education news for young and old. Joint Base Meyer Henderson Hall Army Education Hub, which includes Fort Meade, is hosting an education fair Thursday, August 8th from 10 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. at the McGill Training Center. More than 20 colleges from in and out of state will be on hand. That's August 8th at the McGill Training Center. And finally this week, Mead Week is taking a summer hiatus, so the next Mead Week will post on August 9th. That's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann for everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office. Have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.